This video is best viewed on a stereoscopic 3D monitor or with YouTube's cardboard viewing option. For more 3D options, use the flash player by clicking the first link in the description. For the unwarped VR version of this video suited for viewing on a 2D screen or in a VR headset, click the second link in the description. Welcome to Stereo 3D Productions, everyone! And this first impressions video of A10 VR using the HTC Vive and these cool little motion controllers right here. This game uh, is standing space VR, so it's not really room space. I'll be able to stand in one spot during the, ex the experience. I hope I don't cause too much crashing. Uh, but it should be rather simple. I actually bought this title when I uh, saw it on the list because of this standing in one spot thing, uh, which uh, really serves my place well for the kind of tight space I have. Uh, but I got guns. We're gonna see how I can fare with these motion controllers in a shooter type game. So, uh... Because I figured now, I've done a couple of first impressions of motion controller based games and I didn't even get to any shooting yet. So let's take practice mode. Let's get to started. Of course, pull the trigger to shoot. Okay. Can I shoot that? No. Whoa, 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 where at, where at? Oh, shit. Am I out of ammo? Oh, right. I have to point down to reload. I actually saw that in the instructions, believe it or not. clear. I'm keeping us safe at Stereo 3D Productions from the whatever these are, where we're not gonna get attacked. What? Oh, that was some bad shot accuracy right there. Nice. Fuck. The beam's hard to aim with. Oh, right there. Yeah, you better not. Fuck. Holy shit! God damn it! Holy shit! That's a massive multitasking right there! Holy shit! Getting a little better with the uh, aim, and you gotta reload, you point down, so fuck that little bastard. Uh, you gotta point down so you lose your aim, you gotta get right back on it, right? Fucking bastard, you're not getting away from me. Okay, this is extremely cool, by the way. Uh, I'm not talking right now, you may notice this happens often on this channel when I find I'm playing something cool and I get really concentrated with it. Yeah, got him. Come on, blow up. I got anything else? No? Any other customers? That's absolutely cool. Oh, 
What? Damn it. So obviously a re repeat shot is much better for aim, because you just line up with where you think the, the thing is going. With a beam it's a little harder because you got to be spot on at the moment where the object is there. Wow, I don't even need to pivot completely, and what I like is I don't need to take my hands too far away from my body. I was worried that I have to extend my arms big time in a shooting game. This is not the case. This is actually working out really well. Holy shit. Where, where, where? I missed a few now, I know. The rate is starting to increase. Fuck. Too. It's hard when it's really a precise aim, but you can actually just take your time with this one and shoot things in one shot instead. Huh, that's not bad actually. Getting the hang of it, getting the hang of it. Multitasking is extremely difficult, and maybe there should be a mode where you could at least be facing one way. So that you don't lose your track because if your setup is not optimal and you just want to keep trying the game, even though it ain't the best. Oh shit. These guys are gonna be close! Close calls! I should almost switch motion controllers because the. It's my left hand also that's a bit retarded at aiming. All my better aiming is done with the right hand, of course. I'm ready. Fuck. Whoa! Shit. I'm pretty sure that would kill me if I were not in practice mode. In fact, we're gonna try to go in a more competitive mode now. I think it's the menu button. Uh, so let's go back to main menu. Well, yes, because we're just doing practice, right? So, as my floor suggests. Okay. Let's try... Uh, time mode first. It's about time I hit that thing. that to me. I'ma kill you. I'ma kill you, motherfucker. I'ma kill you. Oh, shit. Close. Starting to fly close here. Starting to challenge us, people. Fuck. Most of the misses, by the way, 
feel like a mistake from my part. They don't feel like the controller's going away. I only noticed that happening two or three times in the play session. Like I said, not an optimal setup for this. Uh, but at least this is actually playing pretty well. It's not like I have the uh, ideal room space VR setup, but at least I can use this. Holy shit. Shit's getting real. Shit's getting real. Better keep my guns reloaded. Let's do some dual attacking, get rid of each enemy. Holy shit. Who's shooting at me? I'm not too sure where those are coming from. I haven't actually seen myself get hit by some. Maybe I'll see it on the video. Fuck. Holy shit. Shit just got real. Too real. That's what keeps hitting me. Holy shit, there's too many of them! We're going down, Captain! We're going down! Oh yes, slow down. Where are you, fuckers? Clear the way, clear the way. Still not sure what that shit is. Holy shit! Alright. So I'm not too sure what was hitting me there. That's uh, my main beef. There we go! Alright, so 341 accuracy 10.27 best combo 2. Yeah, that is pretty shitty. It is my first time doing shooting with a uh, these motion controllers. I have done like stuff that's near that, like playing darts in uh, Pool Nation and the stuff that involves targeting, but I've not done actual gun shooting. This is quite fun. This actually just totally captivated me. There's a lot of styles in my first impressions, lots of various styles. Some of them are very commentary oriented because of that kind of game. Some of them are very technical because it needs to be like kind of like a driving simulator. And some of them are me getting blown away and shutting the fuck up because that's pretty much all you need to get from the game. Now I'll get a little technical here. I'm looking around at the VR output and aside from little issues with the tracking that I've had since the beginning of this play, I really have to improve this tracker setup. Uh, the output of the game is really good and this leads me to think that the other games where I see like massive amounts of shimmering and aliasing in this headset, it's kind of like the game's fault rather than the headset's fault because when you do your MSAA correctly, like this game appears to be doing, I see like I'm talking 80% less shimmering. The ships over there all the way in the distance, if I if they were using uh, Project Cars uh, anti-aliasing technique right now, those ships would be shimmering like crazy. Right now, the, everything's smooth over there. All that, that's all really smooth. So shimmering is, is there a little bit, but way less. I'm not seeing as much aliasing in this game, and nor did I in Pool Nation VR. So it really does look like if the game is doing its own AA properly and with a good technique, uh, the headset will benefit grandly from it. Why don't we get something that's a little simpler? This game's really not expensive. I think it was five bucks Canadian, maybe less even. 
because it was really an easy decision to make when I saw it in the store. I watched a video, I was like, that's exactly what I want. Everybody does space pirate trainers, but space pirate trainers appears to be requiring some space, a little more than this one did. So I elected this one instead. So let's try survival mode here. Come on, come on. No! Fuck! I fucked that up. Did I? something fucking fly by. handed to me already. Double clicking. There we go. Whoa! That was actually kind of demanding for fuck's sake. Physically, I mean. Holy shit. I'm not sweating up my headset too much. Not like I'm when I'm doing a driving simulation. But god damn it. This is. This gets so fucking intense at the end. Here we go. Give me some slow-mo, give me some slow-mo. Let's get let's get rid of a few targets preemptively here. Okay, we're back to normal speed. Damn it. Damn it. Oh 
shit. Sometimes you gotta let a couple through. In order to survive. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're coming onto me. Shit. Oh, high score. I think it was the fact that I took uh, the. Uh, hey. That I took the slow mo at the beginning. I think I took a couple of slow mos. It helped a little bit. Yeehaw! That's right. That was really fun. It's the quintessential mechanic of all video games since the dawn of time. Shooty shooty bang bang, spaceship go boom, right? It's it's one of the simplest one. Freaking space invaders. In virtual reality, you can't leave it out. You can't just have a whole bunch of simulations uh, that have nothing to do with shooting. You, you need shooting. It, it, it needs to exist. And you need it at its most simplistic level, which a game like this will provide to you. And it's a great intro to the motion controllers. Uh, it was extremely comfortable. It still is. I could probably play this onward for another hour. Uh, the stereoscopic 3D is absolutely amazing. Despite the fact that there's huge scales everywhere, I'm standing on a disc right now, and I feel like I am massive altitude from that planet below me. I didn't actually quite notice until now because I was too carried away by the game. But holy fuck is this like this is some serious altitude going on right here like looking down there is giving me a little bit of height vertigo holy shit is that high yeah that's that's what i would qualify this as and and that space station looks freaking huge because you can barely tell its depth it's just far from me and it's huge i i really like the way they did their environment it's it's still a simple environment but it helps at convincing you that you're on a pod floating in space shooting at little spaceships uh, aside from that the graphic output is actually marvelous like i said the aa in this game is actually run pretty well kind of like with pool nation vr and i uh find that that brings a huge advantage in the headset it's starting to look like something you'd run on samsung gear but with full out MSAA on it, like full anti-aliasing. So that's another added plus. And in terms of performance, this actually performed pretty well, except for a few skips here and there in my tracking, which is far from ideal right now for this type of thing. So that is it. Um, hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time on Stereo 3D Productions. I do not know what we'll be doing next, but I got a heck of a backlog of things to try. I kind of know what I'll be doing next, I just don't know in what order. Shit, I missed the bonus. What's so up, folks? Thanks for watching Stereo 3D Productions. This was A10 VR, and it looks like I'm playing it again. And forgetting myself in a virtual world that does not exist once more. And that doesn't even resemble the last one I was in, which is with a pool simulator. And before that, I was chopping up demons with a katana. And before that, I was driving an indie car. And before that, I was in Russia, but traveling through time, so I don't quite know where I was exactly, to tell you honestly. And there was a spider trying to kill me. There's a lot going on lately at Stereo 3D Productions. Stick around to see some more. I'll see you next time.